I think a lot of us doing male line Y-DNA research are doing it in the following way. We have some STR results from a group of men, and we look at how they are related, based how we think that they are related based on the STR results. And then we try to confirm, we decide which of those guys are going to advance our research into our origins the best by upgrading to an NGS test. Those are the kind of tests that test as many SNPs as possible on the Y chromosome, depending on what test it is, they test more or less. Uh, whole genome sequence tests, test almost the entire Y chromosome. Uh, big Y test less of the Y chromosome. Um, this is something that has been said and uh, since WGS tests have come out, um, and, and people have, um, shared their data that backs up these claims. And now, uh, I'm, I'm really just seeing it in the Y full tree, uh, in my own branch. And, uh, so I wanted to share a case study for, um, this is a really practical, um, case. Let's say I have looked at some guys and based on their STRs, I think that a sub, one subgroup of these guys should be related to one another more closely because they share a mutation. So let me show you. It's these guys. Um, the guys that I've circled in red, I, that's me. Emil Proven is my male line ancestor. Um, I don't have this rare allele that the guys circled in gold have. Um, my closest male line relatives are from 1,850 years ago, and they're, they, uh, they're all from England. And uh, some of them are Warings, some of them are Trussell, and some of them have different surnames. One of the different surnames is Gray. And one thing that I found, uh, if you look at STR Match Finder, uh, it's, it's ranked the order of these uh, STR alleles that it's showing, they're ordered by the stability of the STR. So uh, this STR is, uh, that is circled is the most stable of the rare STRs that this group of guys that I've, that I've circled in gold has. It's DYS389 II minus I. And uh, not going to go into this too much, but DYS 389 II, if you're trying to compare an allele that one group of guys has with an allele that another group of guys has, uh, you cannot simply just compare the DYS 389 II to one another. It, because DYS 389 II is not a single allele, it's actually a multi part allele or I don't know what the technical term for it is, but it's the sum of two different alleles, one of them being DOIS 389i, and the other being some other allele that just for whatever reason, the DNA testing companies decided that they're going to call it DYS 389ii is the sum of DYS 389i plus something else. I hope I haven't lost you because of this theory that I guess had to be explained. So we're just going to roll with that, and we don't need to understand why. If you just want to be able to, to do stuff, you just accept when the authority tells you that this is true, and then you build on it, just like with mathematics. Someone told you 1 plus 1 is 2. Then you do 1 plus 2 is 3, and you just keep going. When you learn a foreign language, don't get bogged down in, uh, oh, uh, this isn't intuitive to me. It doesn't matter. Just accept it. Okay, so we're going to keep going, and... Uh, what I've done is uh, I've shown Emil Proven. I don't have the rare allele that they have. Uh, the Trussells don't have the rare allele that they have. I circled uh, us in red. The guys that have the rare allele are uh, Warings and Gray and some other surnames. So now I'll show you what the Y full tree looked like after we did some NGS tests. The two guys that I thought should find some SNP to show that they were more closely related to each other based on their rare DYS389II-I allele 
ended up not finding such a SNP. So the tree was flat. It just said Trussell is equally distantly related to Warren is equally distantly related to Gray. There was no SNP showing that Warren and Gray were more closely related. Uh, but you see this tree, I have this thing circled in red that showed this was my prediction from the STRs. Uh, in fact, there was a Novell SNP that Gray had from his WGS test at YC, A24090. Uh, SNPs discovered by YC start with A for Astrid Kron. Uh, Warren did a big Y700 test and he wasn't confirmed positive or negative. There was no call. So this was a part of the Y chromosome that big Y700s uh, don't cover. At least I haven't seen any of them cover it from the, from the guys that I looked at. Uh, so Yful could not create a branch there because those two guys did not share a SNP from the test that they did. There's, uh, there's actually no guarantee, even if they really were more closely related, there's no guarantee that they would even have a SNP, even if the entire Y chromosome were tested, because uh, it's not a guarantee that every generation will have a SNP. It might, uh, I think the average is 70 or 80, or maybe it's 100 years. I guess it just depends on uh, which tests are being compared and what the coverage of the Y, uh, how much of the Y chromosome was covered. Uh, I don't know what, what those figures are. I just had used the y full tree to see how they computed the, the TMRCAs. Yeah, like I was saying, there is no guarantee that there will be a SNP even in two or three, or you could even go five generations. I mean, as you keep going, you're going to be statistically unlikely to not eventually have a SNP after a certain number of generations. But uh, these guys didn't have a SNP. It was disappointing because I really did be believe that, the, uh, that they were each other's closest relatives. Now, fast forward. A third guy, uh, now on the Weifel tree, uh, the nebula, uh, they did a deal with nebula. If you do nebula, you get your, you can just opt in to have your sample added to the Weifel tree, um, but it will disappear if they don't pay for the analysis after a certain amount of time. So this, uh, a wearing, I messaged him, you can message anybody on the Weifel tree, um, you cannot message anyone. Uh, who did big Y, you can only message people that are uh, related to you within maybe 500 or 1,000 years. It's however they just determine some cutoff. Um, so I messaged this guy because I was really excited about it, and I was lucky that he responded. And he said, yeah, I'm a wearing. And um, he knew he traced his line to Lancaster. And Yful found, because he did a WGS test, he has coverage for a 2490, 24090, I guess. Uh, so he had coverage for it. He had coverage for a 24090 and he was positive. So if that was all that they found, then uh, it wouldn't be enough information to know that all three of these guys, the two, the Warren Waring and Gray, uh, descend from A24090. But in addition to that, uh, because it turned out the Warren and Waring were more closely related to one another. They had two SNPs together. Uh, so that big Y700 guy, even though he had no call for A24090, by virtue of the fact of him having uh, unique SNPs with the Waring WGS guy, who was positive for A24090 uh, and, and Gray was negative for those two unique SNPs, it proved that Warren and Waring are each other's close, more close relatives and that A24090 must have happened further in the past. So we got this new branch and it looks like this. This is on the live version of the tree and next update there will be estimates. Um, it's cool for our research because from just looking at the STRs of the Warren and Waring guys, uh, they did appear to be the surname that had the greatest STR diversity. Uh, but but now we know that they're only 
a few snips down, the TMRCA of, of two of the of the wearings is just uh, just a couple snips down from the TMRCA of the entire uh, British Isles cluster. So uh, we we still don't know if if the ancestor of everybody was a wary or not, but it's a possibility. We're seeing this now a lot uh, in in my haplo group that we're getting branches added that start with the letter A or they're just other SNPs that, that uh, are found by WGS tests. And they're cropping up a lot more now um, because of people having done Dante, having done YSeq's WGS 400, having done Nebula. And there's now enough of these guys having a critical mass so that it's you're really seeing a difference in the phylogeny. Um, uh, I'm going to do a separate post of uh, some two new branches in Jay Z 1043 that that were added in addition to this one because of WGS tests. Just wanted to mention I I did check I was able to find that one big Y 700 had coverage for this SNP A24090, but that was uh, after I sampled about ten where that did not have coverage so i don't know what the exact coverage rate is for some of these snips um in big y 700 maybe it's not zero percent chance but it's pretty low for certain port certain segments of the y chromosome 